Hey guys, it's me, Ichigo Kurosaki. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Asphalt 9 for Nintendo Switch. Look at these graphics, first of all. That's the first thing I want to talk about when it comes to this game. The graphics on here look beautiful. Now I know it's kind of hard to see because it's on my um, TV or whatever, but I do have some saved gameplay footage from um, my Nintendo Switch that I posted on Facebook and saved to my tablet so that way I can show you what it looks like on screen. So, here you go. Yeah, so like I was saying, the graphics are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah, that's what I was talking about. So while you guys watch me play this, I'm going to tell you guys the pros and cons of this game. I'm going to start off with the pros, because there's definitely a whole lot more pros than cons when it comes to this game, because this game is awesome. The first thing, like I said, the graphics, they are amazing. i got to say, out of all the games I've played on Switch, this got to be either the third or second most graphically impressive game. Number one is, for me is Dragon Ball Z Xenoverse 2. Now I'm not saying that's number one in all of Switch games, so don't go in the comments cussing me out or there's something like, no that's not true, I'm saying out of, I, out of all the ones I have played myself, Dragon Ball Z is number one, but this one's definitely like takes second or third. Between this one and Super Smash Bros, that one's, one of those two has got to be second, but yeah. Um, Another thing, I like how this game mixes up road rage and racing. This is kind of like a burnout for Switch. If you guys are familiar with the Burnout series, that is exactly what this reminds me of. You know, just more crazy. I didn't think I was going to make that jump. Um, so, yeah. Um, another thing I want to add... Uh, it's free, definitely, and I gotta say, for a free game, this is definitely amazing. I don't have quite a good reputation with free games. Nothing against free gamers, you know, people who like free games. Nothing against you. I just never really had good, um, a good pass with them. But after playing this game, I think I'm gonna be open to a whole lot more free games now. Definitely, I'm definitely gonna be more open to it. And I'm surprised this game is free, you know. <laughs> They could have made some cash with this game. Like, that's how great it is. Now, um, some cons. First thing, they really need to put a seizure warning on this game for people with epilepsy, me being one of them. Uh, dang, I keep swerving out. Um, they need to put a seizure warning on this game um, for people with photosensitive epilepsy. Because, um, as you guys can see, there is a crap ton of flashing. Um, there's definitely like a whole lot of flashing while playing this game, you know, so thankfully I'm not too photosensitive compared to other people with seizures, but still, they need to put some sign when you start up the game, um, to warn people with photosensitive seizures to be careful while playing this game, because I have to take a lot of breaks while playing this, because it's just a, a lot of flashing, like a lot, definitely, so they need to make some kind of warning definitely um, another um, con I have to say um, this isn't too much of a problem but the races are just too darn short this one thankfully is a longer race but majority of the races are only like mm, a minute if that you'll get lucky if you can find a minute long race this one's the longest race in the game so far, you know, and it's almost over. Stupid cop. See, those cops mess me up. These cops are annoying as heck. <laughs> I'm going to warn you about that. And at least I got second place. Um, but yeah, definitely a problem with that. 
And my last problem, I have to say, this game is definitely a pay to win. I mean, it's a free game. You know, I wouldn't expect any more than a, from a free game. But yeah, this game is pay to win. If you want to win a lot of cars, if you want to do all that crap, you definitely have to put some cash down. You know, but, you know, because these are like the cars and stuff like that. And you got to get them through these tickets or whatever. And, you know, there's a lot of cars to unlock in here. But the only way you can get them is through, like, these tickets. And I'll show you quickly. Uh, go to shop, see? They have these the tickets right there. And the daggone shops and stuff like that. Now, they do, that's another con. They do have, um, I didn't want to press that. Uh, they do have something that I really do like. And for the people that can't spend money, they have something where you can try and unlock parts via, through like blueprints and doing events. So I do like how they added that for people who are less fortunate. Um, but yeah, do I think you should get this game? Most definitely, if you have a Switch, please download this racing game. You know, like I said, just be careful about the internet purchases. There's not a whole lot of them, but it is one of those games, though, where they, they're going to keep trying to advertise and get you to buy stuff. But other than that, it's, it's a great game. So, yeah, I really think you should get it, guys. Definitely, you know. Oh, you can make your own clubs. I have a club. Uh, for my own privacy reason, I'm not going to show you my club because I don't want a bunch of people joining me. Nothing against you guys. <laughs> Just rather not show it to everyone. Um, but yeah, well, that's my video, guys. And then I'm going to say like, dislike, comment, whether it's positive or negative. Like I say always, as long as you give me feedback, I'm good. Ichigo Kurosaki's out. Peace.